Hello and welcome to the Epic Car Show. Now, recently I've been inundated with loads of people sending messages in saying, Dave, when can we see inside your van? And when I say loads of people, I mean like 10 of you. So today I'm going to be sort of breaking everything down. I'm going to be showing you exactly what's inside, how I do things, and just so you've got a rough idea on if you are going to start a car valeting business, what do you need to have inside your van to get it all kitted out? So my stuff's not fancy. Like I'm, I'm going to be showing you pretty much what you've seen here is going to be bog standard. It's going to be very basic, and you're going to think, what the heck? Because I do a lot of VIP cars, like top-end clients, and yes, I have got a plain Jane for Transit Connect. Everything's all really, really simple. So look, without further ado, let's show you inside this bad boy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is the cloths. Now, I always say that you have gotta have your cloths stored away neatly in a nice secure container like what I've got back here. Hopefully that's gonna come out on camera. I'm gonna pull some out in a minute. And the reason is because when you've got a van, you do accumulate a lot of dirt and you know you can't keep on top of it every day. You're going to get crumbs of your sandwiches and your crisps flying about in the van because you do take bends pretty quick in a Ford Transit, let me tell you that. Um, so yeah, it's good to have your cloths all completely locked away so nothing sort of interferes with it. And I'm going to show you now exactly how I do things. So below here we've got my lovely multi-purpose cloths. Now these are all colour coded so I've got green for my leather. I've got these sort of brownie ones. That is the actual color of them, believe it or not. They, I know they look really dirty, but they're not. They are immaculate. I use them for like heavy duty cleaning and things like that. Again, like I use these orange ones for fabric. They're really, really good as well. So everything's sort of got its own place. Now this is just my interior ones. And the reason is I don't want to contaminate any interior with exterior cloths because if you chuck them all in the washing machine, you know, you've got loads of G101 chemical or any multi-purpose cleaner like that. You put it in the washing machine, what you will find is it's going to contaminate all your polishing cloths. And you really don't want that because as soon as you start polishing a car, even if it's clean, you might get the odd smear. So it's just not worth the risk. So moving on to my middle drawer, we have got the polishing cloths. And again, God, look at this. Like, I swear to God, honestly... This is how I do things. Warning, the following description may be utter bullshit. David actually cleans his van once every five years. This is because he is lazy and stupid. It's all neat and tidy, so they're all like, they're all rolled up like lemon tortilla wraps. So um, I always do that. Everything's all wrapped up, it's all neat and tidy, so nothing gets in. And it's uh, really, really good, actually. Now moving on to the top drawer. Now this one's all for my pads. And do you know what? I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't do a massive amount of car detailing. Uh, I know you probably might think that, but um, I actually just like to do car valeting. So if I'm brutally honest, I hate machine polishing. I like to do it as little as possible because I prefer the get in, get out method. So yeah, my top one is just for my machine polishing pads. And again, they've always got to be washed. It's always good to have little tools like these brushes because obviously when you're cleaning your pads, it's nice to just flick off all the dirt as well. So there's just my foam pads. I've got a few yeah sanding discs as well these are pretty good 2000 grit they're really good see that one's manky but um yeah and i've got all my applicator sponges as well they all sit in there nicely again and nothing's contaminated as well and i'll tell you what check this out this is amazing the craftsmanship is unreal like this is actually held on by cable ties there is nothing else holding that on that is literally levitating i've got a tiny bit of wood here that has held me up for like five years and it's never it's just never gone wrong like it's amazing it just it does the job like you don't need to have crazy racking in it so let i'm going to show you a bit more of what i've got going on in the side of the van so i'm going to switch the camera around so you're not looking at my ugly face and i'll just show you what else we've got inside here as you can see there is my first thing i've got my pads cloths for the polishing and i've got my multi-purpose cloths which are for carpets dressings trim and all that sort of gump in here I've got all my cables, it's good to have extension leads and here is a top tip for you, make sure that you don't have crazy long extension leads. I like to run sort of 10 metres to 15 metres max because if you don't the odds are you are going to trip out your jet wash and it's going to keep cutting out and it's going to be really really annoying. So there you go, look at this for health and safety, look. Water plus electrics equals absolute muppet. I need to get that fixed but yeah. We won't tell the government about that. Um, yeah, I've got my steam cleaner there. That's an amazing tool. If you haven't got an SC4 Karcher, go buy one. 
and I'll put a link in the description below so I make a couple of quid. In there is my car dryer, that sits in there nicely. Down here I've got my step, which again, this all, this is what I mean, like my craftsmanship, there is no end to my talent, this is all being held on. And it's funny because if, you, if you're like in a race with a Ferrari, and you do get it when you're in a transit van because people think they can have you, and you take like a roundabout quick, these just fly, <laughs> they fly out everywhere. Like I kid you not, if you drive like an absolute idiot, so you've got to make sure that you've got a strap to go on like that. That will prevent it happening. Well, it does fix on better than that. Bit of a blue Peter moment going on here. So yeah, that will stop your cloths flying out. And that's a really good idea. It's a good way to utilize the space because it is a small van. You have to have things like, you need to utilize all this area. Like you've got, there's empty space. So you, you know, fill it up. That bucket's there just for the hell of it, or for like sticking on my head when I like to drive dangerously. Um, yeah, now this is my water tank. I'm not actually going to tell you how big it is because I have no idea. But as you can see, it is not massive. Quite a small one. But I tell you what, I can get about sort of three cars out of that. So we're not talking three full valets. If you were to do a ma you know a massive full on detail valet, that will get you one decent car. Now, a lot of the time, I actually just use water from clients outside taps because i just like to save you know carrying loads of weight around because it does consume a lot more fuel because you've got a lot more weight in here i've got my charles vac he's having a wash later he's having a bit of a clean it looks like charles has been kidnapped and tortured in here i keep my machine polishers so i've got a random orbiter and i've got a rotary polisher they just sit in there um i've got a broken kettle what the wrong with me why do i do stuff like that why do i need that and now i'm going to show you sort of everything around the back because i bet you're all dying to know what sort of chemicals i've got now get ready for an ocd moment this is absolute perfection so here we go this is my setup look past all the rust i'm telling you now like it looks horrendous but it's not it's actually a lot more cleverer than you think I'm going to sort of run through some of the products that I'm using. Garage therapy, you've made it to the front, my friend. Um, no, this is just because I keep all my shampoos at the front. You've got to keep all your stuff that you're using on a regular basis, like at the front, because you're always coming back and forth. And it's really, really important just to be sort of quick and efficient at getting your products. And again, I'm going to turn the camera now just so I can uh, show you guys exactly what we've got you say it's a mess yes i get it look everything looks pretty rusty it's, it's just what happens isn't it it's metal and water it's what happens so yeah in the front you've got your shampoos again bare shampoo that is absolutely brilliant i do recommend that this iron remover <laughs> i was doing a video on it the other day actually it's so good like i think for as far as iron removers go that again is probably one of the best out there i don't think there's anything that i've used that's personally better than that uh, anything from bear actually again this brilliant spray i've said it before on instagram videos oh, it's just so damn good so i keep my bear products all together because i like them lovely packaging this is vortex wheel cleaner now in here we've got williams racing carpet cleaner and in here we've got my multi-purpose cleaner my g101 so that's pretty much it i don't have a massive amount of products i did i did this morning when i got out of bed this was rammed up here and up here was just full of chemicals but i've cleared it out today because i want to start like cutting things down a bit and i wanted to just show you guys that you probably don't need it all so when it comes to polishes i've got my auto glim that's your that's your just everyday go-to polish if you want someone if someone wants their car looking really good go to that straight away i've got my Zeno. i still really like it i do like it and again Maguire's ultimate polish massive fan of that as for compounds, the only one I really use, I mean, I've got 3M as well, but I've taken it out because I don't use it. It powders up too much. This is more like a gel. It's just fantastic. I don't get any powder or anything. It just, it works a dream. So again, like I'm trying to cut down the detailing just because I just can't be bothered with it anymore. I'm getting older and slowing down. So if for any reason I'm stupid enough to take on a Peugeot and I have horrible carpets, and I really can't be bothered. 
I've got carpet dye right here. Now this is really good, just black carpet dye, spray it on, brush it in, and it does the job. If you really haven't got the time or they haven't got the budget to spend on getting it properly steamed, that's another good thing to use. Now if I show you this product here, this is one that I'm really a massive fan of. It's by DMAX Global. You've probably never heard of them. Um, I contacted them through Instagram and said, look, can I try some of your products out? I was really impressed and they smell, it smells really nice as well. So that's the snow foam that I'm currently using. So I know everybody says, what snow foam do you use? I don't really use a lot of snow foam, but when I do, I'm gonna make sure I just use this from now on. because I've done a couple of cars with it. I'm really, really impressed. Like it really does cling on. So I'm, yeah, it's a, a massive favorite of mine. I didn't get rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. And I'll tell you why, because I've been doing a lot more filming with this turtle wax. And, oh God, I was so brutal and I was so harsh. I'm still gonna like say that most of them points I've said were absolutely true, but now I've figured out how to use it, it's okay. I'm still not gonna recommend it because I think that this, which lasts 12 months, will never ever compete with this from Bear Car Care. So although you get 12 months protection, it takes two days to get that. You've got to do two coats in a, tw like in a 48 hour period that this is only gonna last a couple of months from bare car care, but it's better, it's easier. Like you're gonna clean your car more than once a year anyway, aren't you? So why, I don't I don't see the point in that. For me, something quick and easy, this will do the job and it's just, oh, it's just so much better and it's cheaper as well, it's cheaper. Now moving on to some of my interior stuff. This is a good leather cleaner actually. This is from a company called Frog Chem and believe it or not, they make hand car wash chemicals. I'm actually quite impressed by that. I got my Smart Fabric from G Technic, one of the best. And this one I've just started to use, so I'm gonna see how that holds out in a couple of months when I go back to visit the cars. I thought it was quite aggressive on the leather, like I was trying to sort of go light, but there was some sort of marks, and I was trying to buff it off, but I might have been doing it wrong, but I'm gonna sort of look back on that. But yeah, I need to, I can't really say whether I love it or hate it yet, it's too soon actually. And again, if you've got, always keep a little pot of, um, swiss vax now this is great this one's called opaque this is for your matte cars so if you've got matte paint and they want it to sort of shine up nice make sure you use that all my main chemicals that i use all conveniently all together just here on this shelf that's it for this top shelf however i've got all my brushes all my tools so i'm going to just show you some of the things i use now i use this for pet hairs these cost three quid and it's a lot cheaper than a lily brush. And remember, a lily brush has pretty much got one of these rubber bits on. So again, this is a lot cheaper. It's not going to set you back uh, that amount of money. And again, you, you can buy like five of these for the price of a lily brush. So I'm a big fan of them. I've got my cheap brushes. They're really good. And again, like I don't, I don't use everything luxurious. I am starting to up my game a little bit, but a lot of the brushes and things are just sort of your, your, your cheap ones that you can get anywhere. And this is a point I want to prove that you don't have to have a massive fancy van or anything like that to, to make a business and support your family. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's sort of why you do things. Again, I've got my brushes as well. These are great for fabric. And yeah, I've got different stiffness levels if you like it a bit hard. Um, so yeah, also at the back of here, I do have my emergency chemicals. Now, <laughs> I don't know why I carry these. I really shouldn't. Again, like I've got emergency shampoo like just what just in case i run out of all these bottles and i really can't be bothered i need to get rid of that i mean it's i've got the tfrs in there i always carry five liters of tfr because i do get through quite a bit as you can see um so yeah that's just my backup stuff again in the corner here and i'm gonna have to show you i'm gonna have to turn the camera down here in the corner i've got more five liter containers this one isn't five liters this is my g101 and i like to just put it in this because i don't need to carry five liters around again i've got my other chemicals now this van is pretty handy because it comes from national grid so it was already kitting out it had all the racking done oh it just looks so bad but it actually is a really, really good system for car valeting. So if you can get an ex-National Grid van, that is a top tip for you. So you wanna see what jet wash I'm using. Well, the one I've got here is a Karcher Expert. Again, this is all, this is just literally hanging on by these ties. That's all you need. You don't need to bolt it in or anything. And it's just really convenient. I've got all these bits here where I can have everything neat and tidy. I've got my bucket. That sits in here. That, that's not gonna go anywhere. And what you will find is, when you get these 25 litre chemicals, 
chop the lid off and you've got yourself a DIY bin. God, I'm putting out fires today, I tell you. All this like useful information, you can thank me later for it. Now I know what you're thinking. Dave, where do you keep all those buckets? Well, I did have a door on here, but that sort of rusted away a few weeks ago. That's fallen off. But all my buckets, this is, again, this is such a good van. They're so good. This is why I've got it. I keep all my buckets all in here. So I've got three buckets. So I've got my wheel bucket. I've got my chamois bucket. And that's, well, not chamois as in chamois leather. These are for my glass cleaning because I've got my special way of cleaning glass. So I keep my fresh water bucket for them sitting in there. And then I've got my bucket for my wheel cleaners as well. So I've got my non-premium stuff sitting in there. They sit in those buckets. So um, yeah, when I do a video, I do like to use a lot of premium products if someone's either sponsoring me or I'm trying to sort of help them grow their business as just a kind gesture. But yeah, I do also use a lot of trade products as well. So like, again, I've got my Auto Smart wheel cleaners. They just sort of sit under there and my fallout removers. They are really good. But at the minute, I'm I'm loving the premium stuff. So you sort of you do get what you pay for in life, and they're really really good. So look, that's where all my buckets go. Again, you can fill them up. Water doesn't really spew out. You get like a tiny bit, but it just sits so well. And when this door shut, they're not going to fall out anyway. So you've got nothing to panic about. So this is why I love the Transit Connect. Although it's not a big van, this is the long wheelbase one. You can utilize the height so much to your advantage, and it's a really really good van to have. Well, actually, I say that, this is all good. Reliability terms, yeah, it's gonna set you back money because you're gonna have blimmin' clutches going on it and all sorts. But apart from that, it's a really good van to have. So looking at the top, I've got my backup bottles there in case I get any leaks. Trigger sprays, you're gonna need a lot of them. If you're gonna run a car cleaning business, you're gonna need them. You don't need one of these. I don't know why the hell I got it. It's just a flipping gimmick. But yeah, I keep my gloves and my bin bags up there. Like I said before, this is where I keep all my tools, all my bits and bobs. You don't really need a lot. I mean, this is probably weighing me quite down, like quite a lot actually, because it's just such a heavy van. And with all this racking in, it's, yeah, it's probably not doing me any favors on fuel, but as you can see, I've got my pressure washer sitting there. This will not fall over. You've got to remember that when you've got the door shut, like nothing can like really roll about and it's pretty secure. So you've got nothing to worry about. So yeah, that's how we do things. That's how we roll. So for me, look, I know it's rusty there, but you've got to, you've got to admit the convenience of having everything like your buckets sitting in there, your, your hoses down there, your chemicals, all in here your brushes and everything in here spare bits all up there everything just sort of fits perfectly and i it's like the universe made this van it's just utterly incredible it's so good but you just have to look past the rust and i think i'm probably gonna have to use this as a good selling point because i don't think anyone else is going to want to buy this piece of junk um got my giant toothbrush that's amazing you need one of them a vicam brush got wheel brushes there so yeah, it gives you a rough idea of what sort of setup you're gonna have, but you've just gotta utilize your height. Like everything's, you've got you've got all this space. There's no point in having a massive van and just having everything along the bottom. I think you need to take advantage of the height. And like I said, there's nothing more handy than you get to a job, you just pull out anything you need. It's all right in front of you. So look past the rust, seriously. One thing that's really important if you're a car valet, make sure that you've got a health and safety sign. This will stop people suing the pants out of you. And it also makes a good wrestling prop. It's not just the middle and the back where I store things. In the front of the van, I have all my cloths, which I wash every single night. And I make sure that everything's all nicely rolled up because when you turn up to a job, it's just so handy. You've got your waffle towels. You've got your ones that you use for buffing at the end got your super absorbent auto smart towels i've got the ones that i use for my glass as well now these are fantastic i'm a real believer in these yellow ones and so these these come from halfords and i'm i'm still blown away by how good they were so yeah i keep my cloths in the front of me as well my big towels just so i don't sort of contaminate everything it's all got to be sort of separate i am probably going to get a bit more like boxes and things like that but it's just it's on my to-do list like many things so there you have it i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you found it a little bit insightful i don't really want to show you in front of it because it's a bit of a 
It's a bit of a hole if I'm honest, so, so I'm going to leave it there for you, but at least you get a rough idea as to how you can do things like when you've got a car cleaning van and you just want to sort of set up your business. Utilise the height, you have all this space man, like seriously, make sure that you sort of take that on board because you'll thank me later for it. So I've got another video coming up in a few days time, get ready for it because it's going to be amazing. I will see you later, bye bye.